Hi ladies and gentlemen, today is October 29th and I, I put up a lot of different types of videos, I know. You know, I've done nature videos, I've done documentaries on the southern border, the problem with the, the drug cartels coming across the border and why and how. I've done documentary on the homeless, especially vets and how they are involved in those homeless camps out in the woods and the benefits that they provide for people that they're with and, and also the tragedy of the fact that they have to be there in the first place. But uh, I've also done just political commentary, military commentary, and some spiritual commentary too. You know, we need to have a balance in all those things and I know that some of that may seem strange to you, especially the spiritual aspects of it. But if you wanted to put a, well, let's say that you're a Catholic and you want to put up there uh, a part of the Mass that you go to and, and they're wearing their particular regalia, their, their ritualistic uh, robes and things there, uh, that's fine. If you're Muslim and you're, you know, you got your prayer rug and you're out there and you're doing that, that's fine. If you're, you know, a, a, a 33rd degree mason and you're wearing your aprons and stuff, that's fine too. The point is, is that everybody has their own spiritual system. And yes, Brandon and I have probably exposed ourselves in that regard quite a bit to some, I, I wouldn't say criticism, I'd say more uh, people that don't understand and they like to make fun of what they don't understand. But that's not the point. The point is that we are in a battle for the very lives of our loved ones, for their liberties, and by that means trying to stand up for the Constitution of the United States with its inviolate Bill of Rights that, can, that cannot by democratic processes be eliminated because in this country we're supposed to be a constitutional republic, of course, and those rights are not given by government. They are required to be protected by government or government loses its charter with the people. I think you understand that. So while it's not perfect, it's the best document, the Constitution and the Bill of Rights that is included in it. It's the best document conceived by man to secure our God-given rights by requiring our government to, to provide protection for those rights or negate its charter, its contract with us. That's basically what that is. And of course at this point in time, anybody that's paying attention, you know that our rights are being abrogated constantly and ignored by this government. And the people of the world, of the world, their rights, their right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness has been ruined by agents of this government as well. And that's where I'm going to start today. It's not going to be a long video, but I always say that. But I want to talk to John McCain. You know, a lot of you know that I consider him a personal enemy because of the lies that he promulgates and the, the aggression and the deceits and the corruption that he is engaged in and the lives he has destroyed, the, 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 been a part of destroying. And Brandon and I have done some videos on how a lot of this is turning, that now the, the folly of these supposed leaders, the corporations and the political leaders, etc., their folly and their abominations are starting to become more known by the public. Now, what's, that's good in one respect because it's getting out there and people are seeing it. But when you cage or when you corner a rabid animal, then they can get more dangerous. And it's as, as I've said before, these people would rather destroy all that exists than give up their power. But I want to address this to McCain today because I think it's pretty, pretty, pretty true. McCain, you have nowhere to go. You know, if you leave the country today on one of your treasonous trips or even for a vacation or something you've got two groups of people looking for you that will kill you 
or at least imprison you. The first is ISIL, Al-Qaeda, because I think at this point they probably feel like that you double-crossed them or that you made promises that your body can't cash. So you leave here, these borders, and they're going to be looking for you. I think that's good. I think that's uh, apropos. Justice. And there's another one. Because of what you've done, and there are a lot of people in our government that are this way, I think you're aware that Bush and, and Rumsfeld and several other people are considered to be war criminals, Obama, all right? And outside of Secret Service protection, they're sitting ducks. Well, you leave this country, you leave these borders, being the war criminal and the corrupt official and criminal that you are. And Russia, Spetsnaz, or somebody in their intelligence services might just grab you, arrest you. I don't know how it would go from there, but I think a new Nuremberg might be a good idea. So, where are you going to hide, McCain? And here in this government, in this land, once all of this, the people really get up to speed about what's going on, you and your compadres, your complicit criminal elements in the government and in the co corporate areas, if the people actually get this power back to them, they're going to hunt you down too. There's not going to be anywhere to hide for you or any of your cronies. Enough on McCain. So how corrupt is our government? <laughs> you can't even trust the political parties. You know, we had the debates last night. Uh, CNN hosted them, I think it was, or maybe MSNBC. I can't ever keep them straight because I never watch any of them. But I've heard about what happened there, and it's typical. The mainstream media is out of touch. Not really. They are trying to use psychological operations against the people. Still part of this Jade Helm thing and the whole deal with that. Yes, they were trying to control the narrative last night, use psychological operations. Fortunately, starting with Senator Cruz, I guess it turned back around on those those interviewers. Mainstream media is not free press. It is state-run propaganda. They answer to the CIA and you can't trust them. Best to use other means to get your information about what's going on in the world. So that's the first thing. Not that I trust any of those candidates, because I don't. <laughs> I think and on almost every situation, there's something about them that they deny the Constitution in one form or another. In my opinion, there are only two that are outside that, maybe just a little bit, and that's Trump and Paul. But, uh, you know, even there, there's some difficulties. It might be a, a matter of education, or it might be intentional on their part, I don't know. But I don't trust any of them, really. Now, we went, and uh, as Republicans, uh, you know, they tried to change the government, uh, you know, put people back in Congress that would do something, and they have failed to do so. They haven't stopped Obamacare. Obama's falling apart on its own. I think there's another, I think they're up like six out of seven of their uh, agencies now are falling apart, something like that. Again, I'm not keeping too much track of that. I, I was DOA when it happened. But the point is, is that these people have been elected to go in there and do a job to, to rein this government in, and they haven't. Boner hasn't. Uh, I like calling him Boner, as you know. McConnell hasn't. Actually, nobody has. There have been a few real bright lights in there, but not many. Walter Jones from the Carolinas, that kind of thing. Rand Paul, that kind of thing. But few and far between. But there's this whole movement to try to get Boner out of there so that some real breaks can be put on to this unconstitutional, illegitimate executive branch, the presidency. And what happens? Those damn Republicans cave again, and they put in John Boner Jr., Paul Ryan. Now you tell me how good Paul Ryan's going to be to rein in this government. 
you know, voting really doesn't matter anymore. Not even amongst the members of Congress, the House of Representatives and the Senate. Do you have good people in there? It's like I've said in many of these videos, this nation is done. It's done. It's only a matter of degree now how fast it falls. And that's really part of the reason that we did so many spiritual videos. Because that's really all we have to hold on to, is truth. What's truth? Is it relative? No, it's absolute. Truth is absolute. It's where you find yourself standing in relation to it. That's the problem. Life, liberty, happiness. Pretty easy. The gospel, as I often say, the perfect law of liberty. You can believe whatever you want. But that belief has to stop at my nose. Just as mine needs to stop at yours. You don't need to listen to what I say. You can change the channel go somewhere else. Okay, so Paul Ryan, this whole thing's a disaster. It just shows that nothing's going to change. As I've mentioned before, there was Judge Leonard Hand. He said that you can't rely on the Constitution. You can't rely on the courts. You have to rely on what's in the heart of men and women. Freedom and liberty is either written, written in the heart and you'll, and you'll require it and not allow the government to walk over you. You will use non-compliance. Refuse to give your consent. Right? Or you will give in because liberty isn't there. So either way, the courts and the laws and all that means nothing if, if those principles of freedom are not in your heart and in your mind. And in a lot of Americans, I, I think it's probably still there, but how much are they really willing to put on the line to ensure that themselves and their posterity will continue in those principles to enjoy them? And I think that that's lost for lots of reasons which we've talked about. How is this going to play out? As I've said before in many videos, Central government's going to go away. It's going to be destroyed by all of the different divergence in it at this point. There's no unity. Every, every, every group, pardon me for that, every group pulls for its own power and influence. Wow. Constitution, no, nothing, not even, no one in the three branches of government, not even in the law enforcement community, the Department of Justice holds any of those people's feet to the fire. There's no principle anymore. So what do we need to do? Gather like-minded people around us, like I've said before, prepare in whatever way you want. Of course, I've often talked about food and water and, you know, whatever you think is necessary. That's for your, you people to make the decision on. But you better do it quick. Keep trying to make a difference. Be the observer on the on the wall on the watchtower. Shout their iniquities from the housetops. But it's like what they've done in Syria and in Libya and Iraq and Afghanistan. They don't care about you. They don't care about people. They only care about what they can do to you. Okay, so I had a little interruption. I apologize for that. And on these two things, there uh, are two links below in the description box. One, uh, a little article about President Putin of Russia. Uh, if you'd like to look at that in the videos involved, I think you'd find that interesting. Also, there's a, vi uh, a video down there with uh, an actor, uh, Edward James Almos. I hope I said his name correctly. And he's giving a little talk at the Comic Con in Denver where, where he talks about uh, the, the government becoming a tyranny and the New World Order and all that. And I thought you'd like to see that as well. So uh, I guess I'll leave it there and we'll come back and talk about some specifics later out here.